welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan. Today's video, I am showing you guys one of the best sauces ever. Oh my god, and how to use it. Basically, we are going to be making like a tofu veggie stir fry, but first, I'm gonna show you guys how to make one of my favorite sauces in the world because it is so good, it is so yummy, and probably the only stir fry sauce you will need to ever learn to make because once you make this and you make food with this, you'll be like, my life is complete. This is a Korean sauce. It's called bulgogi sauce. Bulgogi. Now, bulgogi is a Korean dish, and gogi means meat, but let's just ignore that part, okay? It's like made with beef, and it's kind of like a Korean barbecue type of thing, and it's like marinated in this sauce. Now, lucky for us, the sauce is vegan. So it is actually very easy to make, and um, this sauce, honestly, like if you make stir fry, with this sauce, first of all, your kitchen will smell amazing. It will smell like a Korean restaurant. You will be like, who is the cook here? Before we get started, I want to let you guys know that this video is once again supported by audible.com. If you guys want to get yourself a free audiobook and a free one month trial, head on over to audibletrial.com slash cheaplazyvegan. You can get yourself a free audiobook. You literally have nothing to lose. So now that you have got yourself a free audiobook, we can move on to the recipe. The first ingredient you'll need is soy sauce. So we're gonna add plenty of soy sauce. I use a Korean brand, that's preferred, but I think any soy sauce should do the trick. I'm also adding half an apple. So you need something sweet, some kind of fruit, so you can add an apple pear or a kiwi or something. We're also adding some brown sugar. Cloves of garlic. I think I added like four to six cloves. We're also adding about a quarter of an onion. Some ginger powder. You can use actual ginger, but too lazy. And we're adding a little bit of sesame oil as well. Then that's it for these sauce ingredients. Then you just blend it up. And you can add water in here as well, but I just forgot and I just kind of add the water as I cook. It's not really a big deal. It's just going to be a much thicker sauce. So if you just want to pour the sauce in without doing anything, you can just add a little bit of water. And then I'm just going to store it in a nice little jar. And because it's so salty and sweet, it's going to last quite a while in the fridge. So you don't really have to worry about it going bad. It's probably going to last weeks in the fridge. And you can just take it out every time you want to make a nice stir fry. So let's make a nice tofu and veggie stir fry, super simple. We're just gonna heat a little bit of oil onto a frying pan and I'm just gonna cook up this bite-sized pieces of tofu. You wanna cook them until they're nice and crispy and brown or golden brown on each side. And depending on how firm you like it, you wanna cook it for a little bit longer if you like it a little bit more, I don't know, firm and more crispy. So once the tofu is done, you just want to put that aside and I'm going to use the same pan to cook the vegetables. So we're going to cook up some carrots here. These are already pre-chopped. We're also going to cook up some onions. I chopped them vertically this time. Doesn't that look nice? <laughs> and now we're going to chuck in some broccoli. And I think broccoli goes really well with this because it really soaks up a lot of the flavor. And we're also adding just some random frozen vegetables that I just wanted to use up. You can obviously use whatever vegetables of your choice for your own stir fry. And once the vegetables have mostly cooked, we are going to add the tofu back in and then we are going to add some of the sauce. So I'm just adding just a few spoonfuls at a time and also I'm going to add a little bit of water as I go. Like I said, I didn't really add water into the actual sauce, so I just add water as I go. It's very salty, so you will want to kind of add a little bit at a time as you go and just kind of taste it and see how it feels. So that's what I would suggest. And once that is done, this is so good with rice, so that's what I would suggest. So, so yummy. Mm -hmm. 
And like a true Korean, I am topping my stir fry with some toasted sesame seeds. Super yummy, obviously optional, but it's really good. So that's it, you guys. That is my very, very easy sauce recipe video. Uh, this sauce is not my invention. It's just a very well-known Korean sauce. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you try it out. Trust me, guys, it's so yummy. You will not regret this. And when you make this, your house is going to smell like a delicious Korean restaurant, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what your thoughts are. Don't forget to give my video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And of course, if you haven't already, click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you are notified of future uploads. And I'll see you guys in my next video.